Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Second episode of The Ex-Wife I'm about to start. So I don't like the way the first episode ended. You know, finding out that Jack was with Jen. Maybe it was innocent. Maybe there was a reason. But as I said in the previous video, if it was innocent, then why did he lie about it? You know, when I was first like, when I first saw the trailer and everything for the ex-wife, I thought to myself, what if whatever this happens, this psychological torture that Jen puts Tasha through, I kind of thought, what if this was something that Jack orchestrated? What if he was like the mastermind? I don't think he is. I think for him, he's a bit ignorant that he doesn't think it's as big of a deal as it is. But yeah, part of me was thinking like, what if he was actually like the mastermind and he planned this, that, you know, Jen was going to torture her to the fact that she goes into an insane asylum or something, you know? What if he was fucked in the head and did this deliberately? Which again, I don't think that's it. But that was a thought I had when I watched the trailer. I was like, that would be an interesting twist if they did something like that. So obviously she knows Sam because Jack told Jen about Sam. Although, like I said, I kind of would have liked it if Sam and Jen would have teamed up like the exes trying to get, trying to get them back. Because here's the thing. She didn't trust her husband, rightfully so, but yet she trusted Sam. When she texted Sam and asked, you know, do you know Jack's ex? And he said, of course not. Why would I? And I was like, you're just going to take his word for it? You're trusting him over your husband. Now again, yeah, okay, maybe there was a reason. But still, it's like you're trusting him, his word, over your husband. So I'm sure they're probably going to explain. I know I did see a clip, uh, because on Instagram I follow Tom Meissen fans, which go follow that if you can. I showed a clip, and one of the clips was Tasha and Jack like having dinner or something. And he was talking about Jen, something about, you know, she's not like you. She doesn't need to show her emotions or something. And he thinks everything is okay. Like, he's not meaning it in a shitty way. He's just, you know, kind of explaining Jen. And you can just kind of see Tasha getting a bit pissed off about that. So, yeah, I think whatever's going on, he's going to explain it and everything. But, yeah, I'm just kind of like, what if he really was like a mastermind? And this was part of a plan that he was doing, you know? Because again, if it was innocent, why wouldn't he have told her? So on this show, pretty much everyone is suspect. Even Emily, she's suspect. <laughs> so let's get started. Yeah, 
Sundays are open. Okay. Okay. But you shouldn't have lied. All right. Here's the truth. Do you want to sit down? I, I just abandoned her? Is that what you want? Yes. Let her find someone new. I don't want anything. You do what you want. She's not what your problem anymore. Um, Are you going to listen? No, I Should have thought about that earlier. She should have still asked why he lied, you know, because he was like, like, was I just supposed to abandon her? Yes! She's no longer your issue. She's your ex-wife. That means you cut ties. I mean, if the ex of Maya so needed his help, I'd be like, hell no. Like, you are not going to help her. And he would better fucking listen, or there would be problems. So, no. I'm pissed yeah. for Tasha. Like Can I use your bathroom? Yeah, just yeah, be quiet. 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 What the hell is he gonna do? I don't trust him. Liar. He's planning a camera. Or going through shit. Told you he's doing something. What the hell is he doing? He's gonna get a bed. Me? Me? You? You? Ooh. Fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. Wait, maybe that's not Jen. Why would Daddy ring the bell? It's not. At least he talked to his family. At least he's making Haley at least come by. <laughs> he must really love you. Jackie. Well, he should if he married her. The answer is no, she's not really. Okay. Oh, fucking well. I have to go. <laughs> Sorry. Take care. See you soon. Oh, I didn't think he would get the whole family to cut her out. That was just going to be him. Especially since Haley's her best friend. It doesn't matter if Jen needed you. When you got divorced, yeah, that should have been the end of it. Specifically, uh, no purple. You didn't say anything about no, did he? So, <laughs> the ring light, I love it. Get the swatches and now the cross. Why the fuck would he do that? Bullshit. Oh, Alright. Here they are. Uh, you should probably have them, otherwise it's just a waste. I'm sorry, Jen. No, no. Don't be silly. Well, what was Jack do yeah. doing there? Yeah. Oh, I've got to say, I've got to say, um, I have to go to New York again. Oh. It was the last one. Right, do you? Oh, that's it. Like I said, I do like her outfit, the dress with the jacket. That'd be fun. And she wanted to make sure she was seen. Uh, would you mind watching her? Thank you, thank you. She wanted to make sure she was seen. Yeah, she's pissed. Rightly so. She's gonna turn around, it's not gonna be her. It's gonna be someone else. Thank you.
Please help. Please help. Okay. He wasn't arguing with Johnny. Mm -hmm. Why didn't he like show her his phone and say, it's Johnny, I have to take this? That's a weird sweater. I, I, I guess I, I, guess I must have if he says so. I don't know. I, don't know. I think you'd remember leaving it was those days. What, what did you expect? Broken, broken woman. woman. <laughs> She's, not, She's like not like you. Here, this is the scene I was talking about earlier. It's a really it's a unpleasant, unpleasant scene. Doesn't mean it's not wrong. Jack, Jack. I mean, seems like facts to me. Jack, can we, Jack, can we, can you, can you come back? Come back. Totally it's unfair. totally unfair. No, you know it is. Unfair or not, doesn't mean it's not true. You're not even denying it. This isn't gonna change. Uh, what's going on? Nice job. Hello, stranger. There she is, back in the game. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just an interview. It's in the bag. How's he know about the interview? Well, she texts me about um, it. Oh well, yeah, listen, I need to speak to you about something. Oh, sorry, hang on. Emily Warren, too. Great, I'll go get a ten. Sorry, he's still there. Always. How's my princess doing? Well, good, I think. The algebra is coming along nicely. Oh, and she speaks Spanish now. Well, no one needs to learn algebra ever, but listen, I really need to talk to you. Is everything okay? Oh, shit. Sorry, Sam, I'll call you back. Why would Sorry, they? Just to clarify, you're here for Emily Warrington. And my mum. Yes, yes. Emily has already been collected. What? Why would they not have verified? Uh, 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 what, what do you mean collected? By who? Uh, Emily's mum. I'm her mum. Why would you not know who, who her mother is? Uh, she's in the <sighs> What does she look like? The woman! You killed my child! Why would they have not known that she was the mother? That's bullshit. They would have known. They would have had Emily's information. Pictures, whatever. To prevent shit like this. actually happened because they have steps in place if they took Emily to a nursery or daycare that we would call here in the States I would think both Tasha and Jack would have been there to take her there they wouldn't have just been Jack so they would have met now granted those could have been workers who maybe weren't there it is possible you know they might be new whatever but there would be security protocols in place to prevent shit like that. You know, they would have Jack. They would have Tasha's info. They might even have someone like Haley, you know, being his sister. They might be like, there might be the occasional time when Haley picks her up. Maybe she's like an emergency contact or something. So that I could see because she is a blood relative. But there is no way in hell they would have Jen. So Jen coming in. And doing that and picking Emily up, they should have been on that. And they should have said, no, we don't recognize you. I mean, obviously, we do it for the story, for the dramatic effect and everything. But no, that's a big bullshit. And that nursery needs to get their asses sued for doing that. And then Sam is going to say Emily's not... Jack's daughter, which, you know, Jen had said that Emily looked like Jack. But yeah, he's going to say that it's his daughter, because obviously she had slept with Sam, sounds like not long before she met Jack. So I think he's questioning. And then we saw that Jack, his phone was disconnected. So obviously at some point he went ahead and disconnected the app. Obviously. But I don't know, that part with the daycare just, just bugs me. Because I just feel like that wouldn't have happened. But... It makes for a good story. And then, you know, Johnny, of course, obviously planting the seed of doubt in her head when he's like, oh, New York. And it's like, well, it is possible that he might not have known that he was going to New York. But the thing is, she should have had the flight info. And the next time he says he's going to New York, Say yes, you want him to book you a ticket and you go with. Because then he's either going to fess up or it's going to be legit. A part of me really wants to go ahead and continue this show today, but I don't know if I can because I have a couple other things I need to do. So I'm kind of like, I feel like I want to hold off. 
but then I don't want to hold off because I want to find out what happens. So at the time of this recording, it is Halloween. As you can see, I'm wearing Halloween clothing. I got some Halloween decorations out. So happy Halloween because of the time of this recording. Happy whatever day it is, whenever this goes up. But yeah, there's a part of me that's like, well, I want to go ahead and finish this, you know, get it all done. But I don't know, obviously, if that's going to happen. I might have to wait till next week. Uh, it'll kind of all depend on how I feel. I may go ahead and try and spit it out later this afternoon. Like I said, I just have to see about getting a couple of things done. <sighs> Thank you for joining me for episode two of The Ex-Wife. <sighs> I, like I said, I have not read the book, so I did not know what to expect. I'm sure that those who have read the book obviously knew. But it would be interesting for those who did read the book to find out what is different. Because, you know, obviously with everything, they when they base it on a book or whatever, they there's obviously stuff that's always changed. So it'd be interesting to know what is different from the book. But if you do that... You can either wait until the final episode to talk about what's different, or if you do want to talk about what's different, just have it be relevant to this episode. So basically up through the daycare and Jen taking Emily. Keep it relevant through that as to like what is different. Does that happen in the book? Maybe it doesn't. Um, you know, Sam with the paternity test, does that happen? So yeah, it'd be interesting to know your thoughts for anyone who has actually read the book. Um, kind of what is similar what is, and what is different. The Jant Montgomery is really talented as Jen. I'm really enjoying watching her. And of course, Tom. Um, and the other actress, is her name Celine? The funny thing is, and this is gonna sound horrible and I apologize, but I remember watching the trailer and kind of thinking, I don't think she's that pretty. But watching the show, I find her to be a lot prettier. So I don't know if it's just the makeup of the show. So I feel kind of bad thinking that, but that is an opinion, which I'm allowed to have. Um, but then like I said, watching the show, I'm like, no, actually she is really pretty. So I don't know. I also thought that at first, in the very first episode of Lucifer, when I saw Chloe, I didn't think Chloe was all that pretty. But then after like, episode two or three, I was like, yeah, actually she is. So I think it might have just been, I just need a little bit of time to adjust and s actually see her before. Uh, and that's nothing bad, you know, that's just how it is. But, and that's just an opinion, which I'm allowed to have, so don't come at me in the comments. Um, but yeah, I mean, everyone in the show is just fantastic in their roles. And it was nice to see Haley again. You know, I like that she's kind of trying to make amends. And it does sound like Jack has been doing a good job, unless of course Haley is lying. It does sound like Jack's been doing a good job of the whole no contact. Maybe. Obviously something shady is going on. So, thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Hit the notification bell to be alertified, to be alertified? <laughs> alertified of future reactions. Feel free to check out some of my other videos here on YouTube. And if you are watching this on YouTube, I'm sure this is the trimmed down version. So head over to Rumble to see the untrimmed version. And if you are curious as to what had to be trimmed in order for this to pass the YouTube censors, head over to YouTube. So you'll get the full version on Rumble and the edited or trimmed version on YouTube. So, you know, if you're curious as to what got missed, feel free to head over to the other place, one or the other, you know? Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and I will see you next time. Bye.